What's up guys, Hunter Frontier back at it again with another video and in this video guys we're going to be talking about Rarity Collection 2 and the reveals that got leaked today by the Yugi tubers opening it. So now finally we have the puzzle completed and we have our full set list. Now the problem with that right is that a lot of people think this set is mid or just completely trash. And uh, when this set got revealed, I actually went ahead and put this on my community tab. And I want to thank everyone who actually commented and participated because I wanted to see kind of like what the uh, player mindset is. And uh, from there, I kind of formulated my own opinion with that. And we're going to talk about this as a whole. But I do want to say before we start this video that Rarity Collection 1 is way better by a long shot. Okay, so... Let's get right into it. We're going to go car by car and kind of just talk about it as we go. So our first up, we have the Abyss, uh, not Abyss, Alternate White Dragon. So personally, I mean, we haven't seen many reprints from it. So, all right, I understand that. Okay, sure. Jet Dragon only had like two reprints. Okay, fine. We'll leave it in there. Chaos Hunter is kind of cool to see because, you know, when's the last time it really got reprinted? I think it was like Dual Devastator. Plus to have different rarities in it. I can understand that. That's a pretty cool card. It's a card that you can't really complain. Like, oh, why is it? Why is it here? It, it's cool. Why not? Now, next up are the Phantasmes. And I say Phantasmes. I'm glad they chose to put both arts because you never know. One person might like the original art and one person might like the old art. So if you just do the old art and it's like, ugh, I, I mean, I have to get it right, but um, I'm not happy. So now you get to choose which one you like. That's awesome. Now, they didn't do that for every card, but hey. Next up is the Despia uh, Aluber. Funny enough, I sold my secret rare not too long ago. Actually, no, I think it was, yeah, it was a secret rare. Or it was the ultimate rare. Long time ago, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> uh, Skullmeister, awesome. Also, any player that, uh, if they play like Branded, they're definitely on the side of this set's awesome. <laughs> I'm just saying that right now, I'm calling that out. Skullmeister is really cool because, come on, Hand Trap, of course, and it looks really nice in that quarter century secret rare, personally. Uh, Next up, we have the Super Nimble Monster. It's all right. I mean, it, again, there are... This set is interesting, right? Because <laughs> Rarity 1 was staples, 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 and like little random cards. Here, it's less staple-ish because we do have stuff like Droll Lockbird, uh, cross Out Designator, and other... Um, you know, like, again, like Skullmeister. But there's no like... Uh, showstoppers you know you're like oh i need this because uh ash blossom infinite impermanence evenly match so that's the issue so they're kind of filling in the blanks with these like just random cards and that's why people are kind of upset <laughs> um but this set is not like like a zero out of ten hundred it's definitely not it's just not at the same level as rarity collection one you know they definitely could have changed a few things and it did add a bunch of uh uh, Edison cards, which is nice. I feel like they could have chose better cards, but there might be a rarity collection three. That's what people are saying. We'll see what happens. Going back into this though, you have the uh, OG uh, Silent Magician and Silent Swordsman. Cool. I mean, we did just get the ones from, of course, uh, the last set, and um, it's nice to kind of have both. All right, not bad. Rescue cats are nice, especially in the old arts, because the old art. Uh, was only in the gold rarity so it's kind of cool that we can kind of see that in a core center seeker rare or ultimate rare or uh, however you enjoy your rescue cat uh then we have the rabbit again full format understandable cool we have another hand trap uh the ghost mortar that's gonna look really nice too you have the um uh, old version of ghost ogre and see what this is what i'm saying you could have chose to also put in the original art for people who enjoy that now the Raiho, uh, the Light Sworn, I'm not a huge fan of that one. I understand it's Edison, trust me, I do, but you could have put something like Solar Recharge. And of course, I know they probably didn't do that because they are reprinting the uh, that old set that, of course, it came in the Lights of Destruction set. So they probably don't want to like pull away attention from there and put it in here, but it's just not enough. Especially when we just got Light Sworns, they should have been like more, like they should have like more relevant cards for the current meta deck and Edison at the same time. Uh, that would have been much better. DD Crow, very hyped. Really cool that that is in there, of course. The uh, Starlight is, oh boy. But um, Pearly, that's a very good card. That's a very good card, personally, because again, you know, for Pearlies, um, they're they're buying that out, 100%. Droll Lockbird, both copies, both the Ultra and the original, 
very good. This is one of the main things that people are searching for. We are in a droll format still. Now we have the Magician Souls. Really cool to see this. I still have mine. I was not able to sell it, unfortunately, but it is what it is. I think it's every, everyone's hurting all around. <laughs> then we have the Saranir, I believe it's called. Cool because it only had like two or three copies and it actually was going up in price. Uh, then we have the, I do not remember the name of it. It's like the Chaos Magician, but um, this one's awesome too, because again, there weren't as many copies. There were like maybe two, I believe. So seeing this in like Chorus Century Secret Rare, really cool. Um, next up, I it's Ultimate Slayer, and it only had the one copy because it never had any reprints. So cool to see that. Fusion Deployment, uh, it only had like about three copies. It was getting pricey at some point too, so cool. Super, uh, super. Polymerization, yeah, Polymerization had no copies at all. Hey, this is like its second reprint. <laughs> it has so many copies, but all right, cool. I want to see it in another super rare ultra rare. <laughs> Core Century Secret Rare, why not? They should have put the um, ult art for that. It would have looked really cool, but it is what it is. Abomination Prison is really nice and kind of out of nowhere. I love it. This card was only had two printings and it was like what lowest at some point 30 bucks, highest like 45. Secret rare, even the ultra rare. Kind of crazy. Mind control is nice for older formats. Why not? Uh, same thing with the uh, sarcophagus. Really cool to see. Uh, you have foolish burial. Why not? Just flex on your opponent, of course. I could have sworn that had a quarter century secret rare, but it might have been something else. I, I, you know, I'm thinking terraform. That's probably why. Uh, next up, we have another. We have the bingo machine. And, you know, a lot of people, again, are hating on the blue eye stuff, but. This card did not have a reprint and it was getting pricey. So if you're trying to be a blue eyes player in 2024, it's a lot more easier now that after this set comes out uh, for sure. And then you have the uh, Light Swarm uh, card. I do not remember the name of it, but again, see that that's a good card to kind of reprint, kind of sort of bridge both sides. Uh, you do have a ritual uh, spell card going next and it didn't really have high rarity. It might've had secret rare probably, but past that it did not have anything. So cool to see Pot of Duality. We love our pot cards. Really cool to see that in a high rarity spot. Same thing with MST, good for um, older formats. So, hey, that's great. Everyone can use it. You know, cards like that where they're universal, why not? Of course, I'm not gonna be against that. You have Cosmic Cyclone, really good side deck card. Book of Moon, same thing. Uh, you have this one that's called Soul and Luna. It's all right. It's probably the worst card in the set, I'd say in my opinion. Uh, next up, I think that is a pearly card. I can't exactly see, but again, pearly got a card of the monster getting um, reprinted in here. So of course, why not? Forbidden Lance, I understand. I'm not a huge fan of Forbidden Lance, like just the, the card itself. So it's like, ah, uh, all right. Another pearly card, cool to see. Book of Eclipse, nice, another pearl card. Uh, you have the Twin Twisters. Okay, not bad, personally. Next up, we have Crossout Designator. Whoo, let's go. Like a day or two before, these started dipping in price. And I was like, wait a minute, is this gonna be a rarity collection? <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, it's actually a rarity collection. That's crazy. I, I can't even believe it. So cool to see that in all rarities. And this will literally be like your last time to finally get it before it's too late. <laughs> but um, then there's uh, Econ and, not Econ, sorry, uh, Emergency Teleport. And um, cool to see, I mean, I don't think it's gonna pull away from like the Ultima and all that because again, it's like, it's been a while and they're kind of gonna like hold their price. Newer things, they lose their price like much faster. Uh, next up we have the Exosister cards are sort of like, eh, random personally for me, but hey, it's all right. Now, XYZ Encore needed a reprint. It only had, uh, I think it was the one or was it two copies on the market? So. That is really great to see. It's a, it's a very niche card, but still, it's a card that needed a reprint. Econ, well, I guess you, uh, hopefully you didn't get that ultimate rare from the OTS pack, but still still cool to see, still cool to see. See, so like the example would be like Econ, it got a recent ultimate rare, that's gonna lose value. But like something like uh, Mercy Teleport, it's gonna hold its value. Uh, again, another pearly card, cool. Now the planet cards are nice to see in that quarter century secret rare, but, Someone pointed out there's like no they didn't reprint any of the targets. Like Fan Mirror would have been crazy in this set, personally. But it is what it is. You have anti-spell fragrance. Nice to see. Um, I had a secret rare, but now it has a quarter century secret rare. Skill drain. Nice to see. I, I'm actually gonna collect probably the, the highest rarity for this. And then also I'm missing like two quarter uh 
uh, ultimate rares for skill drain too personally like ots so i'm gonna have both uh striking judgment and of course warning are all all valid personally they're all valid i like that um chimera is great it's okay i mean it did have multiple copies dragoon is nice it came out of nowhere i love it you have the despia cards i don't want to go too much into that if you are a despia player and you love that then hey good for you you got your stuff um Garura was also random but i like it i mean why not because those like copies would go up in price a lot psychic and punisher um slightly random but again it's nice it's a nice card to have so why not see it in here then you have uh <laughs> I'm blanking on this name. That Trishula, Trishula. You have Trishula for older formats, so okay, cool. Nice to see. Uh, next up, you have a Blue Eyes Monster, the Spirit Dragon. For Blue Eyes, not bad. A uh, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. I have a go the Ghost Rare for it, but I don't. It should like be okay in terms of value. I mean, but hey, good for older formats and even the current format. Uh, then you have, which I'm really happy for, Omega. Seeing that quarter century secret is gonna be nice. Coral Dragon's always a nice flex to have in your deck. Really cool. With the uh, Librarian card that actually went really, really, really high in price. Like the highest rarity was like a, I think, Ultra Rare? Or no, was it Seeker Rare? It probably was Seeker Rare. So this is it's giving more like uh, access to it to the player base, which is nice. You'll have a uh, Hope Harbinger. Really cool. We haven't seen that in a while. So hey, why not? Then you have the Trap Tricks with Flasia. Um, it had okay copies, but hey. All right, I understand. You have the break sword, kind of cool. We don't see it as much really at all, but it's still nice to kind of have it there. Then you got the Exorcist card, okay. You have uh, Abyss Dweller. I love this because I actually didn't pick up my um, ultimate rare copy, the OTS, but um, I'm gonna be really happy to get my core center secret rare. Then you have Dorgalus, do Gallus, do Gallus, do Dorgal, I can't say that. But yeah, <laughs> you have that card in it. Um, of course, it's not being used now, but it's always a nice flex to have it if you can play it in your deck. You have the Link 5 Borload. Uh, less, you're not really seeing this as much. This was like Dragon Link. They were definitely using this, but all right, cool. It only had the one printing. Uh, you do have the Goddess. Cool. I'll take it. Access Code Talker, honestly, is really cool. Um, it's not used as much, but more than a lot of the other uh, extra deck monsters on this list. And then you have Appaloosa in that alt art. I'm happy for this case, I'm happy they didn't reprint the original because I actually picked up the original, a secret rare uh, version from um, Rising Rampage. So I'm I'm happy. And then I don't know where you have the link to um, Unchained Monster, which again, I'm happy because it was getting really, really pricey with, with people trying to uh, put it with Ubel. Uh, now, of course, IP Mascarena, I'm really, really happy they pre the alt art for this. Now, you may want to wait on pre-sale prices. We'll get into that in a second. But going on to the last one, we do have our link to uh, Dragon Bounce Monster, the Harag Seals. And it didn't have, I think it had like either two or three copies. So it's nice to see more copies for this. Now, real quick, we will go over uh, pre-sale prices. And of course, Gamer Stories, they dropped very quickly when the announcement hit. And uh, you can see on auto like immediately, Masquerina is out of stock. Now they do have this feature where you can put a notification where if they restock it, they'll email you immediately and then you can go ahead and buy it. But um, prices are kind of interesting. And I do want to talk about something really quick is that the fact that like, let's say we have a bomb Asian prison, right? It's 10 bucks. So a lot of their pricing on the website is at the same price because it's hard. When you have pre-sales, it's hard to price, you know, an accurate price. So you kind of price a general price. So for example, Abomination's Prison is 10 bucks and versing a Jet Dragon at 10 bucks, which card do you think is gonna be more money later? It's gonna be Abomination's Prison, right? Of course, it has high records of going like crazy. This is a core century secret rare for it. Now, if you think that this card's going up in price, it will buy the card, why not? Get three for um, 10 bucks, 30 bucks, you're good. Now, Jet Dragon, it's not gonna hold that price. We, we know it's not gonna hold that price. So wait until it dips later on and then pick it up for like a dollar or two. So that's the difference that you kind of have to make. And if you do want to play the uh, pre-order game, then do so. If not, then don't worry about it and just kind of wait and um, pick up your cards when you can. If not, try to pull them, but definitely try to pick up the singles. Guys, there, there's a lot of uh, diverse cards in the set. So definitely, you know, make your wish list early on. So again, just going through really quick, we'll go to, uh, let's try to filter this out. Let's go to the Core Center Seekers and we'll go to Hydala. Like 80 bucks for Appaloosa, 
which is crazy because on TCG player, which I mean, honestly, I'm not surprised. It is like over a hundred bucks and people bought like, like two already. <laughs> it's so crazy. I don't understand that concept, but um, yeah, this set is going to be really cool. I'll see. And they didn't show the, um, in the picture, but the uh, old art for Ghost Mortar looks really nice. So there are a lot, a lot of cards here. And personally, I am happy with the cards that they did choose. There are a few cards that I would have switched out. Like I said, the Life Swarm Monster and a few other cards. Um, but at the end of the day, if I had to rate this set from 1 to 10, 1 being worse and 10 being like amazing, it doesn't be Rarity Collection, but I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because it does have a lot of, it does, it really does have like a lot of um, useful cards that you can use in past formats and current format but guys that's all i have for the rest of the video if you guys like the video make sure you give it a huge like comment down below your thoughts is this set still mid or is it okay and if you are buying into the set are you buying singles or boxes and guys if you're not subscribed to the channel what are you doing go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you're updated the moment i upload new videos but guys that's it for me i hope you have a good rest of your day or night and i'll catch you in the next video peace